Hi, we're here in Midtown Manhattan with two of the stars of the Bling Ring, Katie Chang and Israel Bouchard. And I have to say, you guys are both very new to Hollywood. How did you end up starting out with the Coppola film rather than like on the CW? Uh, well, this was actually my third film. I had been in some other, uh, you know, side role, family mm -hmm. film kind of thing. Um, I was in Flip with Rob Reiner and um, the chaperone was Stephen Herrick. So I've actually been in L.A. for almost five years now. Wow. So, but however, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I started acting when I was 13 mm -hmm. in Chicago um, and started working with a manager out of New York who would work with my acting coach in Chicago. And so we would just audition for whatever came our way and one of those things was the bling ring. Oh, so you, so you guys were just open to anything and this is just how it shook out? Pretty yeah, much. yeah, I mean, you know, I think <laughs> we have some sense not to do some projects, <laughs> but um, this one was like a no-brainer to yeah. audition for. Well, Sophia does such a great job of creating a world. And this one is very unique in that it's very chic and glamorous. It's all its a little bubble from reality. Are you guys suffering from any withdrawal after <laughs> making the movie? Uh, I don't know about withdrawal, no. I don't know, it was a lot of fun to, to work on the set. However, you know, it, it did get overwhelming at times, you know, with all the, all the fashion and all the stuff you had to remember, like the names. <laughs> uh, of these brands. And, uh, it was it was a bit of a relief, but I do think back and miss it sometimes, yeah. Yeah. I think we're definitely having withdrawal from each other. Oh, yeah? yeah. Was it a really, like, a family set? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. We spent a ton of time together, and Thais, Israel, and I actually lived in the same apartment complex. Wow. So we spent a lot of time together, and it's been a bummer not being able to be around each other. You guys do have a really good vibe in the movie. You seem like you really know each other. Were there a lot of rehearsals, or did you just click? Uh, we had one rehearsal week, um, and where we just basically spent the entire week together. We went shopping together. We fake broke into a house together. Yeah. We, um, <laughs> Israel and I went spinning together. Just a lot of stuff to kind of create a bond. <laughs> soul cycle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was soul cycle. It was a uh, up dog fitness. I think. Oh, very nice. Oh wait, yeah. what's the difference? Uh, soul oh. cycle is like a, a thing. Yeah. Oh. It's it was a just a regular spinning studio. studio. All I know is I was on a bike and it was very hard and uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, Emma Watson has said that one of the things that when she was in this movie, she didn't want it, her character, her portrayal to go into parody. Mm -hmm. What was important to you when, when depicting these real life people? Um, I kind of, I don't know. I kind of just, uh, you know, trusted Sophia uh, and, you know, she would direct me in, in the way she wanted things to go. And I kind of just uh, ragdolled it around, you know, wherever I needed to be, whatever I needed to do. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't too worried about anything. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, the only thing that I really had to keep reminding myself of was that uh, the relationship between Mark and Rebecca obviously had to be very plausible mm -hmm. and um, that there had to be something kind of friendly and enticing about Rebecca because it, mm -hmm. I think it would be really easy to just play her as, you know, kind of mean and icy, but mm -hmm. then, girl. Right, right, but yeah. Mark wouldn't want to be friends with her if she was mean, so she has to be kind of alluring and bring him into her circle at the beginning and then slowly reveal the two-facedness. It's gonna be a little light though. Yeah. <laughs> I think you both succeeded. You know, I think something that's very interesting is that the movie never makes a big deal about your character being Asian American or your character being gay. And do you think that's one of the good things about this social group or is it just how society maybe is changing in general? I think a little bit of both. And also I think Sophia did a good job about that. It's kind of refreshing, you know. Um, there's, there's not a a big moment where he's coming out or mm -hmm. uh, there's not a big moment where they, they say it and you know they just don't point anything out they don't try and explain anything it just is what it is and I think that's uh, I appreciate that in Sophia's work and I think she did a good job bringing that out. Yeah I mean I think Sophia wanted to stay really true to um, some sort of real life you know counterpart because uh, the character the girl that my character is based off of is Korean American and I think initially Sophia was seeing a lot of girls that were um, you know, 100% Korean, mm -hmm. um, and then she would also see some multiracial, you know, with Korean ethnicity, and I'm, I being one of them. Um, I think some people are kind of confused about the fact that she didn't cast like a fully Asian girl to play this part, but the thing is that just as much in the movie that, you know, the Asian-ness isn't really touched upon, that's how Sophia felt. It wasn't in incredibly imperative to the story, and um, I mean, I think all of us look the same amount of like our characters and mm -hmm. the same amount not like the real people. It's the essence. Yeah, yeah. Right? so um, I think we're both just really happy that we fit some sort of a bill for her. <laughs> <laughs> well, my last thing for you is your characters do a lot of, a lot of bad things, mm -hmm. right? Any disclaimers you'd like to give the viewers out there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, I guess <laughs> watch the film with an open mind. Yeah. Uh, you're going to get drug around a bit and it's a bit of a roller coaster ride so just kind of buckle in and 
be prepared. Buy the soundtrack. Oh yeah, it's a great soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Great music.